Hi, my name is Philip. We're going to talk about air conditioning units uh, today because sometimes it can be very noisy, like this one in particular. Um, it's noisy for the people inside and for the neighbor as well. So we have to reduce the sound by about 15 dB, 15 decibels. So 10 decibels, just to give you an idea, rough, rough idea, it reduce the sound by about half. So 10 decibel we reduce by half. 20 dB we reduce by half of the half. So 15 dB is something between, of course. So um, it's quite a lot, but if we could enclose this air conditioning, we, to, that would be very easy to, to stop. But we can't do that because we need the airflow, you know, to come. Um, I cannot put an enclosure even that way because the air will be too hot and the same air will be recycled. Uh, so that creates other problems as well. So the only way to do here will be uh, using different system and using sound absorbers. So this is one sound absorber made of polyester. Um, color is black, can be white. And uh, it's very high density, can sustain the weather, the water, it's water repellent. And uh, it can stick even by its, on its own on a brick wall like this, you see? So we're going to put behind this air conditioning unit, we're going to install three, three of them. Just glue, I don't even have to glue that one. Um, it will last for many, many years. Um, we're going to put three behind this and it will absorb uh, part of the sound because we have some sound reverberation between the wall and the back of the unit. So the sound increase here. So we're going to reduce that already. So that's a simple, simple thing to do. But we're going to have a reduction by maybe three or four dB, not more than that. And we need to reduce much more. So we have to work, the only option that we have is to work on the fence. What we're going to do on the fence first, I'm going to install the same sound absorber, but the thinner. And we're going to install that directly on the fence. And this, and we're going to cover the fence from this corner to about 7.2 meter. Um, after we cover this, once it's covered, we'll install in front of it a mass loaded vinyl. Uh, it's a flex flexible sound barrier uh, to reduce sound transmission through the whole fence and through this as well. Because sound absorbers on its own will not be sufficient. It's part of the system, but it's not sufficient because it's not a sound barrier. So in acoustic, we use often a mix of sound barrier and sound absorbers. So this is a sound absorber. Then we put the sound barrier and then another sound absorber. So we'll explain later a bit uh, how it works. Um, so yeah, let's start now. Okay, we're going to glue first. I'm going to spray some, some glue on the, on the fence. And I'm going to use some stainless steel staples as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not relying 100% on the blue with the weather, you know, we don't know in about one, two, three, five years uh, if it's still going to hold, but I'm going to add some uh, extra stainless steel staples. All right, we finished to install the first layer of sound absorber. Now we are going to install a layer of uh, sound barrier. So this is a mass loaded vinyl. It's very heavy and limp and it's, um, it weighs about eight kilo per square meter. So it's quite heavy, but this is a real sound barrier. So it's really stopping the sound going through. The sound absorber doesn't stop much the sound going through, but it's important part of the system. Um, now, why did I put this mass loaded vinyl directly on the fence? Because it works better if it's separate from the, from the fence. So if I have a gap uh, between, uh, between both, between the, the existing fence and the loaded vinyl, uh, it will work better. So I put a sun absorber 
I put the mass loaded vinyl and I will put on top of that another sand absorber because it's all good behind this fence but above it the sun will travel above I've got nothing to stop the sun there so that's why the sun absorber is quite important because uh, the sun is a wave so as the sun goes over it will get partly absorbed by the sun absorber under here on the fence so we have it will be much weaker on the top of the fence so that's why we combine sun barrier and sun absorbers now I put this line here with tape so just a reference to have a vertical, a perfect vertical line, so I have a better reference to continue the job after to be a bit easier. Uh, this material, um, the loaded vinyl, I just staple here on top, you know, like this, and I use stainless steel, you know, staples because then it can last much longer. And then I will, will continue. I will glue that um, on the sun absorber and then I will do the sun absorber in front on top of this. Right now, another thing very important when we install a mass loaded vinyl is that we need to have a perfect pad joint and any joint must be really perfect because otherwise the sun will go through. It's not as important for um, sun absorbers. The sun absorbers, we can have gap around, doesn't matter because it's not a sun barrier, but this is a sun barrier and it's to be really perfectly sealed. That's very important. Good, so now we finish the sun barrier. There is one more step to do, is to install an extra layer of um, sun absorber and we're going to glue it on the, the sun barrier. So like this, the sun that reverberates between this wall and that wall, between the two houses and the fence, uh, will be greatly reduced because of the absorption, the sun absorption properties of the bat. I already sprayed some contact adhesive, but I'm adding a different type of glue just to be on the safe side. Et voilà, the job is done now. Um, we finish. We can we can finish in a different way if you wish to. You can put in lattice in front. You can put put any install any perforated kind of panels. Can be timber. Can be uh, steel. Can be whatever you want, whatever you like. Or you can stay like this. Doesn't matter. So it's all good. Uh, also, we finish this. We just simply install some. 15 mil thick, very high density polyester sound absorber. So everything is done now. So if you want to ask me any question or send me an email, give me a call, you're very welcome. Thank you.